key news finally the results are out and a Samoan has been confirmed as the father of the three children so stay tuned for more before we get started please take the moment to like this video subscribe to GHTube and hit the notification button Some people may say Gifty have finally been vindicated, but truly, the whole situation will be tough on the case as they are the real victims here. None of this is their doing. The Black Star captain dragged his wife to court in November 2018 after harboring doubts over whether he is a real father of their three children. According to my news GH, a Samojan children ignored him when they met him for the DNA test at Medilab. Will you blame them, accusing their mother of infidelity is one thing, but having doubt as being their father is next level stuff, and it will be hard for any child or person to forget that. The DNA test was conducted on January 16th at Medilab in Accra. Their lawyers were present as well. The samples were instantly shipped to India to ensure reliability and accuracy of the results. So after almost a month, the paternity test was out and reviewed in court in February 13th. It pointed to a high degree of certainty that all the three kids were Astomogian biological children. Delay took on Instagram to congratulate Gifty for her vindication and within 24 hours, the post has gained over 9,000 likes and huge number of congratulations and well wishes. This episode of the saga is over and it's more likely that both parties, Asamojan and Gifty, are happy with the outcome of the DNA result. Asamojan, in addition to the paternity test, was pushing for annulment in an effort to avoid paying any compensation or to avoid Gifty entitlement to any of his property. Asamojan and Gifty have been together since 2003, which is almost 16 years, so for them to be at this stage in their marriage life, you know there are a lot at stake. Immediately after the DNA results were confirmed, a Samojan's wife also filed for a divorce insisting that the marriage was legit and legal under the Ghana's law. So a Samojan's claim that they were never married is not true according to her. She is now requesting equal split of the couple's properties and businesses. This is truly an emotional time for the Jans family and we hope this is resolved in a makeable way. It would have been great if this was sorted out privately because almost 99.9% .9 of divorce are messy and putting it out there in the public will make it worse. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think about the whole ordeal in the comment section below and don't forget to share and subscribe. It's totally free.